In this video, we're going to show you how to remove the alarm siren from a Golf Mark 7. Tools you'll need for the job, a 13mm socket and ratchet, a 10mm socket and ratchet, a flat screwdriver, trim removal tool and a 90 degree pick. First step is to remove the wiper arms. So on this one, on the driver side, there's a little slot there you can put a screwdriver in and just pry that cap off. And then underneath it's a 13mm nut. So undo that, loosen it off a few turns and then pull the wiper up. Just give it a wiggle and then you'll feel it come loose and then you can undo the nut the rest of the way. Now to remove the passenger side wiper arm, it's the same thing again, there's a little notch there, you can put a screwdriver in and just pop that cap off. And undo the nut a few turns and you notice this time the wiper arm is going to hit the bonnet so you'll need to remove the blade first so you can push the little button in in the middle and slide the blade out and you're able to pull the blade up and again same technique give it a wiggle and once it goes loose remove the nut and remove the arm now we've got to remove the scuttle panel so starting on the in the middle there if you pop this rubber trim up you see there there's a small clip holding the two halves together if you just use a pick and just get it in and pull that clip out of there and there's another one here on this side and then at the edge there's this foam block there's a push fit clip on the underside, so if you're using a trim tool, just get it in about there and just pop it up out of the hole and you can just sort of like wiggle that forward and take that out. Now to remove this part, starting at one end, just pull it up and it's just pushed in straight down into a little channel below the windscreen. If you just wiggle one side, you just notice there it'll pop out. As it pops out, just work your way along. It gets easier so you can get your hands in as you work along. Now we can take this side off. So you can take the rest of the rubber trim off and move that out of the way. And there's another circlet there. So again, using your pick, slide that out. And then same again with the rubber, uh, sorry, the polystyrene block, like on the other side. Just get your trim tool and pry that up out the hole and then just wiggle it forward and out the way. Now starting at one end you can get your hand under and just pry that up, slide it out, work along and it'll be pretty much loose so you can get access. If you do want to remove it fully, on the bottom there there's a little clip that you squeeze together and it'll pull out at the top and then you can just wiggle it out of that hole and take that out of the way. So the alarm siren is here fixed to the back of this bracket so best thing to do is remove the bracket, these cable guides, pull those two off and underneath you'll see two 10mm bolts so undo both of those And then the other nut there. Now you should be able to manipulate that and just wiggle it till it comes out the hole. So getting the front of the bracket over and then sliding it out. And there's an electrical connection. If you just push on the top bit on the tab there while pulling the plug, it should come off and that's the alarm removed. 